Ah, hey, Matt. Hello. Matt Hodson, everybody. Um, we're here today. Matt, who uh, you will know from other videos at Sonic State, you now work for Stylophone. I do, yeah. I started working for them uh, late last year. Right. And, you know, that opportunity to work for such a legendary, uh, iconic British synthesizer company. One of the first, I think, aren't they? I think so, yeah. 19... 67, I believe it all began. Early and, days. Yeah, and particularly when I saw the amount of innovation and design and new products that they were working on, I had to jump at the chance, really. So we know them, of course, from the legendary Stylophone. Yeah, it all started really with this one, the yep. S1, the original pocket synthesizer, still available now, been used by Kraftwerk, um, uh, the White Stripes, Pulp, and of course, Dave Bowie. Uh, uh, like, oh, what was it? Um, Space Oddity. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Um, in fact, they there is a David Bowie special edition one still available on the website, and they did a. Uh, I like that. Do you like this one? I like that one. Yeah. Called pink. We really like this one. You've got to be confident to wear pink. Yeah. I think yeah. that works. Yeah. It, really, really cool. And then, of course, they uh, took that and zooped it up with the Gen X one. Yeah, which had a bit more synth going on it. Yeah. yeah, you've got, you know, envelope, LFO, filter, delay, octave control, and uh, ribbon control there as well. Really, 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 really cool. Nice. A lot of fun to play with. Uh, just quickly, last year, there was the... The beat as well. Which, oh, yes, I remember um, that one, which is like a sample based kind of groove box yeah. kind of idea, yeah. Yeah, you got bass and drums in there, That's sequencer, right. filter, um, again, kind of pocket size, loads of fun. And then we've had a busy start to the year. Well, of course, if you can see that, there's the uh, Stylophone Theremin, which uh, you pre launched, well, it was last week, really, wasn't it? So it's, yes, it, it's it pretty was. much, or yeah, maybe a little bit before. Yeah. So busy. And, but now, of course, what we were just listening to. This, this is what is, we're here for, yeah. It's a very different kind of area for you guys, because this, yeah. is this Eurorack? It is Eurorack compatible. Um, this is definitely Stylophone opening that door well and truly on the pro audio market. Um, this is the start, or the first product, should I say, of their CPM range, compact, portable modular. It is compact. All right, so um, more to come, for sure. Yep. Definitely keep um, keep your eyes peeled um, for that. It can be it's portable. You can run it on batteries. Run it on batteries right now. Actually, you can. It's got mains on it, or you can mount it in your Eurorack yeah, so you, case you, as well. So and, th and this is a more much more. This is like a synth voice, but it's a it's a drone synth voice rather than a kind of ADSR kind of. That's like. right. Yeah. The idea with this is literally you can turn it on. You don't actually need to plug anything into it and you can drone away. Turn it on, drone away. So the um, so the oscillate, the LFO is what's driving a lot of this. But yeah. uh, just, so the architecture, mm. um, two oscillators. Yeah, so maybe I'll just take you through this, uh, you know, the interface of this a little bit. So if we just start with the oscillators, there's actually two, hence the name DS2. Um, and these are analog oscillators. There's about an eight octave range on them. I'll just turn uh, thirty three forties as well, aren't they? Which we know. That's right. Uh, we know that the, those can sound pretty good, actually. The, they the do. Thirty three forty oscillators. Yeah, there's a massive range on these, um, and with them being analog, you can you can actually blend through the different waveforms right. of these. So you can go through from square wave through to triangle. Let's have that up a little bit. Okay, right. Through to sawtooth. So that's completely blendable. Right. Yeah. And you can get can that. Can you modulate that? You can. Oh, nice. and, and, and that's the thing about this sort of music, you know, working with drone music, you're working with long, elongated well, it's right sounds. right in your wheelhouse, isn't it? I mean, if you've ever seen any math sets, in fact, our last email, Matt played the headline, and um, and we did another feature when you supported Alessandro Coltini. And yes. this is kind of, I'd imagine, right up your alley. It isn't really it? is. And, and the thing about working with that sort of style of music, it is about movement and blending waveforms modulation. and modulation of filters and that kind of thing, which is exactly how... This is this is how it's designed to work. You don't need to plug anything in. You don't need external envelopes. You can if you want. You can plug in external um, CV and modulation into here. But like I say, you turn it on, and there's LFO on many different areas. So you can instantly add LFO to, for example, that waveform. So now we're modulating through those waveforms, and you get this movement. Bit. Right, okay, see. That's a nice smooth transition. It's very, very smooth. And in fact, at the top here, you can crossfade between those waveforms and your sub octave here, which is minus one and minus two. Ooh, that's, there's, there's some, some air. There's some air there, isn't there. Yeah, and we're not even right down at the bottom there. And you can blend those. 
and you can hear already. So the, the, this, this LFO movement. has got a pair of outputs, so you've got two different waveforms. Ah, yes. Okay, right. Okay, so you've got. Yeah. So this is our ultra LFO. So everything comes from here. It's really easy to use. One LFO rate essentially, which drives two waveforms. In fact, there's seven waveforms you can choose on each of these dials. Um, I could go through them all. I mean, there's, but there's, there's, you've got triangle, you've got square, right, sort two, separate outputs, so you've got different modulation capabilities. Yes. I sorry, I jumped ahead a bit there because obviously <laughs> coming down the, the the drone voice. Yeah. So we've got the oscillator. Yeah. We've also got a filter on each on each oscillator, so it's almost each like a, a its own voice. Exactly. Yes. Except for let's say um, any kind of. Um, there's, there's no VCAs, VCA. yeah, thank you. There's none, none of that involved. It's it's all about movement. So we've got these lovely filters on each of the oscillators. These are thirty three twenties for those uh, who had the which were the old. Uh, I think they were SEMS. Yes. Uh, you'd find them on so. the Pro One, Profit Five back in the day. Alka. So it's sort of filters with a pedigree. Twenty four dB ladder, right? And um, these are twelve dB. Oh, twelve um, dB. Actually, yeah. And you don't get any bass loss when you turn up the resonance as well. Right. And these are switchable between high pass and low pass as well. And of course, how resonance can how much resonance well, can you get in there on the low pass on the high pass? Mindful of the speakers, but I'm, I'm interested in the low one. Oh, the low. Oh yeah, there it is. But if I you mean, go switch to high pass mode, and let's have a listen to those. Uh, yeah, there they are. <laughs> that's them. That's yeah. Just always like to hear those. You know, nice to hear that. There's some serious low end in this for sure. Um, there's a massive range in these oscillators and the filters combined. And of course, you can modulate those just in the same way as you can with the oscillators. So just turn and up those the yellow. Positive phone. and negative as well, Matt. So, okay. Yeah, these are essentially, I guess, attenuators. So you can go minus and negative. So there we go, we've got movement on the oscillator waveform and we've got movement on the filter. And they're both being driven at the moment by this waveform here. Right. And we could we could go through all sorts of different waveforms. But you can also essentially you've got two. So yeah. you can choose here in the modulation. Oh, so it's matrix. like a little switchable modulation yeah. matrix. So easy to use. So if we want to send this particular waveform to modulate the filter of of this oscillator, let's choose um, something like that. We're then going to choose waveform two. So now there's right. a different waveform modulating that, and a different waveform modulating the gotcha. filter. And it's the combination of all of this that can cr start creating interesting movement and drones. And of course, they're all both of these LFOs are coming from the single LFO. And you've got a so rate control that you could bring in here as well and reset as well. So yeah, yeah, okay. Got cool. that. You can also tap out of these here as well. So you can take those two waveforms and, take them elsewhere, and yeah. plug them elsewhere. So, okay. for example, um, we have some got a square wave here. We could take one of the waveforms out and do some PWM. So we've got the PWM input there. Good man. I thought you might like that. I, I'm <laughs> guessing you might have prepped that for this demo. <laughs> How could I not? How could I not? All oh, right, okay. So it's all about that sort of movement. So those two are essentially, uh, did I see, is there an oscillator sync there as well? There is, yeah. So these are both identical, both of the oscillators, completely identical. So I'll bring that one in as well. Ooh, that's a bit of low note down there, isn't it? Yeah. And we could have a different waveform. So we could have um, LFO2 modulating this one if we want to, which, which it is. So they're the same, same, same LFO, different waveforms. Uh, and yes. Okay. And you choose where they go. Right. using that. It's really simple, but like I say, you can, you can tap out of those. There's a really useful pitch link as well, so once you've tuned your oscillators, right. so if you can tune the second one as a third, a fifth, a seventh, right. it will then stay in tune with each other. Right, and you can, obviously you've got pitch input for each one, so you could play them by an external sequencer or whatever as well. Exactly. What's but, the sync sound like? I'm just curious. So the hard sync, we get this. So, oh, there we go. So we could take the waveform and modulate the pitch of that second one. You can really hear that. 
and that sync point seems to come up post mix, so you can add that extra octave in there. Yeah. So you can get everything from really soft, mellow sounds all the way through to sort of, you know really quiet aggressive. I guess if you slow that right down, you get that. Am I going to say sing song harmonics? I think I might. You can if you want. And I guess um, that takes you to the effects because obviously yeah. then you can add even more. So these are stereo yeah. effects, right? They are, yeah. So this is mono um, signal path up to the effects. So we've got some lovely delay that we can add on here. Um, the delay isn't syncable, but the old idea is that you're using your ears and you're, you're, you know, this is kind of a standalone moving synthesizer on its own. And then we've so got some reverb. So that a delay algorithm in that one? It doesn't sound like it's a ping pong with it. Yes, it's, it's, nice. it is, yeah. But it's the reverb, which comes after the, uh, after the delay, that can make it stereo. You can go stereo or mono for the reverb. Let's go stereo. And there's actually eight different algorithms of reverbs as well. So some okay. of them are bright, some of them are quite warm. Did I see in the spec that this is uh, an Elisa's chip? So yeah. it's, it's, it's those familiar with that. That's right. So at the minute we've got it on a, on plate two, which I think is a bit warmer than plate one. There's even last one which has got chorus and hall on there as well. Um, and for extra fun, you can modulate the delay time as well in the same way. So there's some LFO depth there, and you can get this kind of movement happening. Full on wonk. Absolutely. We would go quite extreme with that. But um, we can, so, so we've got those two, and the outputs, so we've got outputs on mini jack. Yeah. So there's a stereo out on mini jack there, headphone yeah. output. Yeah, but you'll also notice there's a built-in speaker. So when you're on move, you can actually Turn that up. In fact, you can use this at the same time. We're hearing this through the speakers, but I can also hear um, yeah. through the speaker, and it, you what can do that? that. Triphonic. Exactly. <laughs> the other thing you can do, there is a, an auxiliary input here, so you can run any external audio into this. Uh, you know, drums if you want to, another synthesizer into that, um, or you can even run itself. Something I quite like to do is take the output of it, plug it back into itself, and you can get some near feedback results. Start stretching out the sound even more. Oh yeah, so I'm hearing the delay. That's very doomy. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Sounds like one of your tracks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can go from anything like this all the way to something really musical. And um, of course, you can use the built-in pitch as well. So if I was to send some, uh, oh right, because you can, you, you've got uh, um, off camera. We've got uh, ES. What's it? An ES9. ES9 so by I'm Expert like... Sleepers. So I'm just sending some pitch from uh, inside Bitwig straight into this. Okay. So yes, as we say, we've got um, some CV just coming in here from the computer. So we can just plug them straight into the pitch input for each one. So that adds, that's standard Eurac Volt Pro Octave, yeah? Yeah, standard Eurac Volt Pro Octave. We're still obviously using the inbuilt LFO to open and close these filters and to modulate the waveform. Now, the other interesting thing we can do, you pointed out there is a rate control here on the LFO. Now, that's not sync. What you can actually do is modulate the rate of the LFO. So if we take something like an envelope, I've just got an, M an ADSR envelope, put that into the rate, it's now going to speed up and slow down that LFO. Interesting. Are these out of phase, these two waveforms? It looks like they're, so one is, one is positive, one is negative. So yeah, just got... in some locations they are. In some locations they're exactly right. starting in phase. But um, you'll notice that on some of them, there's some little lines next to the waveforms, which suggest that they're 90 degrees out of phase. Ah, uh, okay. And some of them are actually uh, twice the speed of, of uh, the other one as well. So you can, that's really handy, yeah. Yeah, so the, the whole idea is we're giving you all these different patterns, modulation, just adds all this extra movement. Um, 
we can send a reset still into the LFO. And now it's going to reset at the beginning of every bar of those pitch sequence that's going around there. Let's add some more pulse width from that waveform. Can we take the delay down a little bit just so I can hear Yeah. Not that it's not lovely. Yeah. Interesting. So these, you're running just some uh, CV sequences from uh, that's Bitwing, isn't it? Yeah. Here. Nice and simple. Maybe we'll try a high pass on this particular oscillator. I like the fact that you can high pass and low pass, so you could actually create quite a lot of frequency distance between the, the two voices, effectively. Exactly. And remember, because they're pitch linked, if we change this particular oscillator here, they're, they're both going to change as well. So right. it's quite easy to keep things musical if you like and that we that's something i think we really appreciate when this was being designed is that we're trying to help you keep this musical try help you keep things in tune you know you can keep, you can create your thirds your oh, fifth nice. your sevenths yeah. yeah and of course the waveforms are always related to each other so it's it's a very musical moving synthesizer i guess let's try some different reverbs we've got the last one's actually got chorus on it so you've got chorus hall. Oh, that's nice. Let's get that up a bit. Interesting. Yeah. This, this case, this comes with it, right? So this is a... That's right, yeah. Comes with it. A little desktop case. Yeah. Um, batteries go in the back, but you may have noticed it's got these ribs, we call it, along the side. Yes. <laughs> if you have more than one of these or more in the CPM range, they actually slot together. Down the so side you can here. Create a kind of... Yeah. So they. So you got. So you don't end up with things moving around all over your desk, and it actually comes with this uh, little sort of. Uh, tab oh, thing. Part, so you, you pop that in and you sort put of that link in, them together. Link them together, and then they don't move around on your desktop oh, so right, much. Neat. Or you can put them in your app. So. Or take out the eight screws, power it, and integrate it into your Eurac system. No problem at all. Let's go back to. The low pass on that one. Maybe we'll try nice, out some. That uh, square wave sounds nice with a bit of chorus on it, doesn't it? It really is. Maybe add a bit the delay back to it. The delay does softly saturate a little bit as well. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's, it's got an analog vibe. It's not a BBD, is it? It's a digital one. Yeah. But it's got, it's got a crunchiness without being too noisy. Hundred percent, and it, it will self oscillate as well. I mean, you can. You can go there if you want to with it. Oh, speaking of self oscillation, mm. um, the, the, the filters go fully resonant. We heard earlier. It, is yeah. there a way to track that, or is it? Has uh, is, is that got? Oh, you got a cut off. You got a cut off. Yeah. So I guess you know you could you could probably track that by yeah. running CV into that with the I, resonance. I would bet it's probably unlikely to be uh, Volper Octave input, but it means that you can you've got another dedicated. But I like the way you've got the uh, patch points across the top as well. Yeah, yeah. You still and see what's going on. Exactly. And you, you can tap out of the oscillators directly as well here. So if you want to take a clean signal out from, from this for each oscillator, before it gets to the effects, you can do that and run can it Can you modulate? These. Can you take the out of one oscillator and modulate the pitch of the other Absolutely. one? Absolutely. So, I mean, yes, we could, we could do that. I don't know how it sounds. We could take the output of one. We could even modulate the cutoff as well with the other ones. And now you've got modulation happening here from the inbuilt LFO. But there's Ooh, if we get that. additional, there it is. So now you've got additional modulation. Nice, okay. Yeah, and of course you've got the hard sync as well, which you could use in combination with that. So you can get quite radical different sounds out of this. I mean, we haven't explored some of these different waveforms here, um, but yeah, we've got triangle, square, there's a sawtooth, there's a kind of soft um, uh, sawtooth with that. Sort of reverse shark tooth, shark yeah. fin. Yeah. yeah, in fact, um, we oh, call they're it... They're slightly different, aren't they? The waveforms are slightly different on each other. They're different for each one, yeah. yeah. That's useful. We actually call it a round tooth, this one. And then there is a double speed triangle, this one's quite interesting. It's a double speed um, sawtooth base, so it goes up and then it goes in the negative, it goes down. 
And then there's the stepped ones as well, which we was using earlier um, to send to the pitch modulation. Ah, okay. So you can so modulate you can, the pitch with the LFOs. Signals. Right. So at the minute, if we take the, the pitch out of there, we might be a bit out of tune, but let's go with that. Sounds pretty cool. We've got pitch link on, so we can go up some octaves. We could use the stepped LFO and send that to the pitch. So now your LFO is doing that crazy modulation there on the pitch. You can go so negative can... with that as well, by the way. So you can get this kind of... Yeah, slow that down a little bit. Let's go into some sub oscillator there. Well, that if we sync that... So, I mean, not just drone, there's some sort of, it sounds like a sort of mad sci-fi alarm. <laughs> Quick, we've only got five minutes to get off the planet yeah. before it blows, right? Yeah, you can go there. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we've already, you know, in the 10 minutes we've been talking or so, we've been through a variety of different sounds that you can, you can get out of this. Um, we can plug in a keyboard as well and just play the pitch and you can play the filter. Oh, yeah, so well. can I, should we do okay. that? Well, uh, before we do that, because that might be a good thing to play out with, um, tell us, you know, when, how much and where and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so we're hoping that this will be coming out um, middle of the year, we're, we're saying that in a minute. We're certainly going to be at Super Booth with this and we're going to be also at NAMM um, in a couple of weeks' time. So if you're there, do come along to the booth and you can have a play with this as well as the theremin. We are hoping and this is what we put on all of the, the pre-release information. It's in print. It's in print. So we're looking at two five nine dollars. Right. Um, we're looking at two three nine euros. I am reading just yeah. to make sure I'm right. And two hundred and nine UK pounds. So okay. So a, for a pair of oscillators with filters and effects generator. Yeah. Plus that's that's pretty reasonable. And all your patch points that you get in yeah. there as well. And. The other thing with the speaker, um, I must admit, is pretty cool. One of the things I've been doing is putting a little piezo microphone on here, using it as an envelope follower as well for opening and closing other things in my Eurorack system. Oh, so interesting. Loads of different things that you can do with it. Yeah, nice. Um, but this is available for pre-order now on the website, so you can go there. You don't need to put any money down. You're literally putting your name on just, the list. Yeah, just an idea for pre-orders, I guess, yeah. And it's, it's been very popular so far, as has the theremin. So if you want to be in with a chance to get these first. The first batch, yeah. Get yourself on that list is my recommendation for sure. Matt, thank you so much for coming in. I will set up a keyboard now and sort of noodle out with some drone action. Thanks for watching. See you next time.